I'm here again and in last lesson we discussed about a uh, very beginning like how to blow the instrument how to hold the flute how to move your finger and little bit of sargams today uh, I will discuss two very important element of classical music one is a mir and another is a gamak what is mir mir is just to slide the note from one note to another note maybe one note to one after another note and gamak gamak is the bounce of note this two thing is very important for the classical music why mir and gamak is so important in our music because mir and gamak main feel or the depth or the, is create the emotion of the notes uh, now i will show you that how to play the mir If I play the note straight, just like this, it doesn't create the emotion what we need in the classical music. Now you can feel the sound like. That is me. and gamak what is gamak gamak is the main uh, thing you know uh, in dripad dripad is the old uh, classic formation so gamak it comes from the dripad i will show you what is gamak now gamak is the bounce of note just regular bounce of note is the gamak i am playing the gamak dha 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 sa the gamak is in dha and i can make gamak in any 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 note in ga or that is gamak now uh, i'm going to show some me in uh, some other notes from dha to sa just uh, look my finger when i play this me it the finger comes like this it turn little bit and go slow like this like this make a lot of emotion in the music now uh, i will show some mid in other notes mid it may be go from low note to high note or mid also from high note to lower notes from high note to lower notes it like this from low to high like from pa to sa maybe ni pa sa now i will show you that how to play the gamak gamak always from high high note to low lower note 
like if i play the note gamak in dha this dha it's come from like uh, ni or sa like this in re or ga so when you want to play the gamak you need the support from the other note now i will show you how to play this note and how to you build up your mid and gamak one very important sargam uh, first of all i will show you that how to play the sargam the sargam is like sa ga re ma ga ma sa ga re ma ga ma you know uh, in the first first time you know uh, the player who are playing flute uh, in the very beginning it's uh, take little bit time to control the so first when you play this sa ga re ma ga ma it sound like look like this like but you have to try to control the note the way i show you and very slow you have to practice the note then pa nidha sani sa pa nidha sani sa so in the ascending order it's uh, look like sa ga re ma ga ma pa ni dha sa ni sa when you go back in the descending order the notes are sa ni sa dha ni pa sa ni sa dha ni pa like now i will show you that how to go up and how to go down sargam little bit faster then you can feel how it changes and how you create the emotion in the 
same note in the sare gama there is simple sare gama but when i'm using the touch note and uh, like a little bit of uh, me and gamma it sounds different now how to create the gamak from this sargam when you repeat this note like sa sa re re ga ga ma ma pa pa dha dha ne ne sa 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 re re ga ga ma ma pa pa dha dha ne ne sa 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 ne ne dha dha pa pa ma ma ga ga re re sa sa or you can just uh, you can play in three times four times maybe five times like sa 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 re 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 ga 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 ma 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 pa 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 dha 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 ni 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 sa 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 ni 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 dha 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 pa 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 ma 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 ga 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 re 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 sa 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 now you show a uh, slow then i try to play a little bit faster sare 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 sa maga maga sare 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 sa gare 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 maga 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 ma 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 you know in ma because we cannot uh, touch in ma that's why we have to uh, stroke with the tongue for ma so sare 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 sa gare 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 maga 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 ma 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 dhapa 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 nidha 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 sani 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 sa 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 now for gamak when i go a little bit speed or fast then you can feel how the gamak sounds like so i am playing this very easy because uh, it's my long time practice and so i can do it very easily but uh, if you just uh, take this lesson and do it slow and slow and practice day by day you can build up your school uh, 
like us me in indian classical music it's very important to create the emotion the feel of music it's need uh, mead and gamak so mead and gamak is very important and i hope that uh, if you follow my instruction you can do the mead and gamak very easily and enjoy the music <laughs>